We got a bidet. Hey everybody and welcome back for another video. In today's video, uh, we are actually going to take a look at the new Young Jedi Adventure show that is, ha that well, has been released by Lucasfilm and Disney. It is actually on YouTube, it is not on Disney Plus, uh, so that's kind of a interesting release that they've done. They, they have a handful of different shows and whatnot that they put on Star Wars Kids for YouTube that they don't put on Disney Plus. Uh, one of the uh, more other notable shows that they put on there is the like, game show that they have. If you remember the show Legends of the Hidden Temple, it is very much like that, but with a Star Wars twist. But anyways, we're here to talk about the uh, Young Jedi Adventures show. Uh, it's not going to be, you know, like our other videos of Mandalorian and the Bad Batch where we do like an episode breakdown and, you know, talk about what happened. Because these, they're actually, they're very, very short um, they are geared towards preschoolers. Um, so really what I just want to talk about is, uh, you know, what is it like, uh, you know, what angle are they coming from with this show? And also, uh, just what my thoughts were. Um, for one, you can go through all of the shorts in a relatively quick amount of time. Uh, the first episode, which just kind of introduces all the characters, is only 3 minutes and 21 seconds. Second episode, 2 minutes and 51 seconds. Third episode is 3 minutes and 50 seconds. And then the last one that they currently have out is 2 minutes and 47 seconds. So you can understand that these are shorts. They are very quick to watch. Um, the one thing I would say that's kind of unfortunate about that is... I know with a lot of shows that uh, kids watch, you know, you you watch an episode and then the next one rolls out. You watch that episode, the next one rolls out. It just, you know, kind of keeps younger audiences' attention span for a while, whereas this one will only last them maybe 12 minutes, you know, pending commercials, pausing, whatever, maybe 15 minutes. And I kind of think about like my nephews that are younger and whatnot and think about the shows that they watch and although I think this would be cool for them I don't think there's quite enough substance out yet that would hold their attention um, just because I feel like by the time they start watching it it is over because it just goes so quick so I guess that's my one little criticism of the show is that although they are shorts and I knew that they were going to be short, there's not many out yet. There's only four. There will be more that come out. I know they released a trailer for this show at Star Wars Celebration, I believe, or at least during Star Wars Celebration. And in the trailer, there's a lot more uh, stories that we can see that weren't part of the first four episodes. So we know that there's more coming. I'm not sure how many that are coming, but... We do have a decent amount. I heard rumor that there's going to be one on Batu as well, which is, if you're familiar with Disney World and Disneyland, that's the Star Wars Galaxy's Edge planet that they have there. So we might see a little bit more uh, of that world in this show. So what do we got kind of going on with these episodes? The first episode just basically introduces the characters. And one thing that I wanted to mention about that is I thought their names were pretty cool. Um... I don't remember them off the top of my head, but I do remember liking them. Uh, let's see if I can find their names really quick. Um, some other things, you know, the, the I, like I said, first episode is introducing them. Uh, one thing I thought was slightly weird about it was that the episode is kind of about a training droid that they can't turn off, and then when, like, the Jedi characters can't, and when they introduce their final character for the show, she just walks up and pushes the button on its back and it turns off. So that was kind of weird that a couple of Jedi kids couldn't do that. But, you know, this one, uh, I would say she's kind, she's not a scoundrel, but she's kind of like the Han Solo character of the group, maybe. 
All right, we found their names. So we have like a koala bear looking dude and it's named Nubs. And we have um, Liss. We have Nash. Nash is the one I was mentioning that was kind of like the Han Solo of the group. Liss is another one of the Jedi. Um, RG-83, I think that was the little droid, which I'll talk about in a minute. Uh, Yoda is the uh, character from all the movies and shows and whatnot that's in here that kind of, you know, brings everybody together. Uh, he's the one in training all these young Jedi, so it's kind of cool to see Master Yoda again. And then the final one, his name is Kai, Kai Brightstar. So I really liked how it's simple because, you know, it's a children's show, um, but yet it's still a really cool name. So I like that a lot. All right, the second episode, um, they are trying to basically catch one of the uh, little Star Wars cats. I think it's very similar to a Lothal cat. Um, but basically, it's running through the temple. At one point, it's running through the, uh, the the like lunch table and messing up everybody's foods. And so they just the whole episode is trying to catch that cat, and eventually they do. Uh, the third episode, our I would call him the main hero, Kai Brightstar. He is learning to uh, help people in need, and so. Uh, their little droid friend is stuck on a little floating thing that's going down river, and eventually he's going to go over a waterfall, and he uh, Kai gets a little transmission that, oh, I need help. I think it was from Liz. Maybe it was Nash. Not 100% sure. <laughs> I don't remember. Um, it was from one of them, and they were saying, you know, we I need help uh, catching our little friend before he goes over the waterfall, and, you know, Yoda is like, you know, it's... It's a, a part of a Jedi to understand when to help his friends in need or help their friends in need. And so uh, Kai goes off and chases the droid down the river. And right before the droid would go over the waterfall, they do in fact save him. And then the last one was that they were trying to get this special flower. Um, but the problem was is that there was a bird that was protecting it and eventually what they learn is that the bird is very distracted by their lightsabers. So eventually Nubs, which is the koala bear looking dude, um, hops onto the back of the bird and like it dangles the lightsaber in front of it so that he or the uh, Nubs can, you know, direction the bird so that they can cut the flower off a tree branch and then the flower can go down to Nubs' friends and then they now have their flower. So those are like the four episodes that we have currently. I think it has good potential moving forward for younger audiences. Uh, it's something that you know I don't mind watching, I suppose, especially if it's something my nephews would want to check out. I do want to mention that at Star Wars Celebration, they did show off some of the new action figures that will be coming out for this show. I thought they looked really cool. Supposedly, they worked very closely with um, other, uh, I would say, professionals that work with children's toys for this, appropriate, this age group appropriate uh, show. Again, it's for preschoolers, so that's kind of where they were... Uh, heading towards with the toys. I don't think you're going to get a Star Wars Black Series figure of these characters. If they do, that would be amazing. Uh, I think that'd be kind of cool and also funny at the same time. Um, but yeah, they're going to have a toy line coming out, if not out already, about these characters. My guess, because I have not seen them in stores, my guess is that they'll come out around the time when the next set of episodes come out. Because, again, there's going to be more that we'll be releasing very soon. So, yeah, those are kind of my thoughts on the show. I do recommend it for those of you that have young ones that maybe want to be introduced into Star Wars. It is more kid-friendly than, I would say, like Clone Wars or um, The Bad Batch, Tales of the Jedi, stuff like that. Even though those are animated, this one is definitely geared more towards preschoolers. It is very... It is a very fast show. It keeps your attention. So, yeah, I would recommend. Uh, if you enjoy this type of video where we go over different, you know, aspects of Star Wars, make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. We are covering lots of Star Wars stuff moving forward. My favorite thing I'm looking forward to is Jedi Survivor, which is very, very soon. 
So make sure to turn on your notifications for that. Uh, drop us a like if you like this video and drop us a comment letting us know your thoughts on the Young Jedi Adventures show so far. Uh, if you're looking forward to the new episodes and if you're looking forward to the new toys because uh, honestly they look pretty cool. Um, not sure if we'll pick them up but I do think that they look really neat. And then as always everybody, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.